today we are going to discuss one of the important topic which is about closures so generally uh interview will ask three questions like what is closures and then what is the difference between non escaping closure and escaping closures so we'll try to see uh, this today with very uh, simple example that will make all the concept clear about non escaping and escaping and when to actually use escaping and when to use non escaping closures so if you seek what are closures so closures are self containing block of functionality that can be passed around and used in your code now there are two type of closures non escaping closures and escaping closures now again if i read the definition of non escaping closures a non escaping closures means that a closure will not live or remain in memory once the function that calls the closures finish execution so closure need to be executed before its calling function and finish execution closure is non escaping by default in swift now what does that mean let's try to understand through a simple example so let's what i will do i create a class test closer and inside that let's have two function function perform addition okay and i will define one more function here which will be add so function add and this will expect two parameter which is number 1 which will be of integer type and then let's take uh, and uh, number 2 and this will be of type again integer okay so this function has two arguments and then it will return a completion handler block which will be again of integer type so result of type integer okay i'll remove this return type from here and then so now i have defined my closures okay so what this function is doing this will take two number as an input add and return the result okay let's correct the spelling of result now what i'm going to do is i am going to call this function from here so add and then pass a number 1 which is let's say 7 and number 2 as 2 and here i'll get the results so i'll print my result okay now here let's try to give a print statement which is like a step 1 and then inside this i'll give my step 2 or let's say here i give my final step and uh, let's do the operations here so here what you have to do so first the moment it calls let's say the step 2 has been done after that let add it so sum equals to num1 plus num2 and after that what i have to do is step 3 and then return the completion handler okay simple function that once i call perform addition it will call this closures and by default even if i don't write it is a non escaping closure okay so if you mention it or not mention it it's the same now let's create a object of this test closure so let test closer equals to test closer and after that just call this perform addition now let's try to have a look at the output so what happens that first step one after that the closer gets called okay now in this closure if you see there is nothing any kind of blocking or some operations it is just simply adding the number and returning it so then it came to step 2 sum the number step 3 the completion handler block get called and then it called the final step so everything happened just asynchronously without waiting for anything okay now let's see the definition of escaping closure one time 
that escaping closure will remain in memory after the function from which they get called finish execution generally used in api call where code is running asynchronously and execution time is unknown okay now let's create a another function just copy and paste and this time we are going to make that one as escaping closure okay so i'm just making this change to perform subtraction and here sub and then this one just minus okay now instead of directly returning this time let's say that i'm creating a delay of some time so this space q dot main dot async after so let's say a deadline of 10 seconds now execute this code here i have just you no know, introduced a blocking statement now the moment you introduce a blocking statement what this will tell you that escaping closure captures non escaping parameter completion handler so see when you use a any task which is blocking a person like you know where you don't know or where it will take some time let's say it is going to take 2 second 3 second or you don't know the time let's say that you are making api call you might get a response in second or you might get a response in minute those closures has to be escaping closures so here we have to introduce what a escaping closure parameter so at the rate escaping that's it we are done okay error will go away now what does it make difference in terms of execution so let's see i just copied or let's make it little more beautiful i'll call it as result and then result now let's run it one more time so we have the sequence very good let's just save it so this was my output for my non-escaping closure now instead of calling non-escaping i'm calling my escaping closure so perform subtract so this time see step one step two final step and then it is blocking for how much time i'm giving 10 seconds so after 10 seconds you will see the further output so see how the flow is behaving you call this perform subtraction first step one which is perfectly fine then you are close calling the closer it came inside the closer it calls step two okay now step three is happening after 10 seconds okay and then once this step three will happen then what will happen you are going to call your result again let's make it little more better like this so i'm just running it one more time so step one then step two and then see it doesn't wait for this particular closure to execute completely and then come to next block because everything is happening asynchronously so you are not waiting for this closure to execute completely and then execute in the next line it is not happening so step one from here step two from here and then it come to line number 31 final step we didn't wait it for this to complete its execution and then after that step three and then the result okay so see one thing is very clear that you have to always prefer using non-escaping closure until unless you are required to use escaping closer so that's one thing you keep in mind that until unless you get the error to put that you have to you know put a escaping closer don't use it because escaping closer takes more memory so if i talk about the life cycle of a non-escaping closer and escaping closer so in non-escaping closer what is happening that you are passing the closer as argument during the function call then you are then you are doing some work and then function runs the closure and then function returns your compiler block okay but in case of escaping closures what is happening that once you call this escaping closure see the com the call is coming back to the callee but still the closure is remaining in the memory also one important difference if you see here between escaping and uh, non-escaping closure or let's say that if i have a function uh, let's say sample we just print 
sample that's it okay now if i call this function from here which is my non skipping block so it is not asking you to introduce self but if the same thing i do let's see from here then it will throw you a error now let's see what error does it throw so it is giving you that call to method sample in closure requires explicit use of self to make capture semantics explicit that means here as you are holding a reference so that's why it wants that the self should be alive so that you can call your uh, function inside a closure so here either you have to use self or this is wrong because you are capturing a strong reference so the best way in this case is to use a weak reference okay like weak self but the same problem if you see doesn't is there in the non skipping closures so you don't need to worry about weak self or unknown self or uh, you no know, worrying about any memory leakage kind of thing so those all things will come when you are using a skipping closure so there also you have advantage of non skipping closure on top of a skipping closure okay okay so if like let's say that someone asks you that when to use escaping and when to use non escaping so one thing is that whenever you are using any kind of operations which takes some amount of time or you no know, which takes unknown amount of time then you have to go for a escaping closure otherwise if it's something is not blocking it's always to use the default non escaping closure okay now let's see one example which i did few days back where i created a sample uh, using a network call and here i have used the escaping closure multiple place of time okay that day now if you see where the escaping is required so if you see in this particular case i am making a api call that means i am blocking the operation that means escaping keyword is required so if i remove this escaping keyword which is actually here and if i build it the compiler will throw me error because you are making a operation which requires certain amount of time in this case a known amount of time so that is throwing that escape that it should be escaping closure okay but see i am also using escaping closure while decoding it but here if i remove this and i build it i should not get any error yeah it's not showing me any error because here the operation is very pretty much simple that i am passing the data and then i am performing the decoding so there is no blocking kind of thing so here the escaping which i was using was wrong but that means unnecessarily i was putting a more burden on my memory so it's wherever it's required it's always preferred to use a non escaping closure okay so that's all for today's video i hope that now you should be clear when to use escaping and when not to use uh, escaping closure thank you